In 2019, I was writing my word of the Lord for the United States for 2020, when the Lord spoke to me saying that another general of the faith was getting ready to go home, and that this general was from the healing stream, and that it would be a signal to, of the end of one generation of the healing movement to a new and emerged generation of the healing movement. In case you don't remember, here is a snippet of that video. A mighty one shall fall ill, and many shall mourn another general of the faith like unto Reinhard Bunke. They shall gather round to celebrate, and the Lord says, I will release from it another balm of Gilead upon the nations, for it shall symbolize the final changing of the God from one generation of the healing movement to an emerged and a new generation. When I asked the Lord who was going home, the Lord said to me it was his servant, Morris Cerula. Not wanting to disclose his name for obvious reasons, I preferred instead to say one like evangelist Reinhard Bonnke from the healing stream. The Lord showed me that he would fall ill and that it would be fatal, but that it was a God sending and not a God judging moment. We all remember the death of Elisha, that the scripture says he was sick of the sickness that would kill him. So often we expect the death of great men and women of God to be solemn, not realizing that it is not about how one dies, but rather how one lived. And Pastor Mara Cirillo is one of those generals that lived an honorable life that has touched the world over. He will be tremendously missed but yet God was quick to mention to me that he had run his race well. We send our condolences to the Cerullo family and to the global ministry that has been impacted by this great loss. His legacy will never be forgotten. And although the man is gone, the mantle is still very much alive and multiplying in the earth today. The Lord instructed me to release this message upon his passing to a generation that has already emerged in the healing stream. Men and women like Daniel Kalenda, Daniel Chan, Michael Kulianos, Todd White, Nathan Morris, David Harris, just to name a few. The Lord says, a mantle has shifted from one generation of the healing movement to another. With it, says God, will come a new balm of Gilead that will raise the waters of my spirit to an unprecedented level. The Spirit of God says, now I am opening up my resurrection power upon the many, and it will birth a new wineskin in the healing movement unlike any other before it. For darkness without measure, I am releasing the spirit without measure, and there will be a harvester anointing that will cause evangelists and apostles to marry together to discuss the new sending and the new stalls. The Lord says, no more will usury cause suspicion, nor covering lead to smothering. I will marry the national outreach to the house ecclesia, for a world where sin is on demand, church can no longer be on Sunday, says the Lord. I will call for a new synergy and a new wineskin alignment to take place. There will be no more evangelism territorials, but rather evangelism overlap. I will create a new network and it will not be a rigid network but a band of brothers and sisters who from organic relationship build and walk together. It will call for mutual marriage accountability, mutual life accountability, for old wineskin elitism that was necessary for a season is no longer the driving force of a relational new breed. I will heal old suspicions and will wash out the healing movement. The Lord says, I am releasing a new stream upon this new wave of my spirit. And from it, says God, all will be healed. For I will cause a model of evangelism that will cause the saints to be equipped for functional evangelism to lifestyle evangelism.
The Lord says that there will be a movement again in the earth like a new California revival and a new wine will be palpable. It will force cohesion and a people to say, we honor our fathers and let us build from our fathers, but let us not build like our fathers. I desire the streams and the flavors of healing for the sake of the nations. I desire the fishing net and the fishing line. I will release signs and wonders upon a generation that will cause a new glory to come upon the evangelist. It will be a glory of the partnering of the angels, says the Lord. And it will be like the young man who was healed by Jesus. And they asked his parents, who made this young boy whole? And they responded, ask him, he is of age. For the Lord says, now I am ready to release the fullness of the of age generation, the mature sons and daughters in the, in the evangelism movement shall arise. The Spirit of God says, I will do these things among the evangelical movement. Number one, the Lord says, I will release a new prophetic evangelism hybrid anointing. Number two, I will release a new resurrection power that will cause even resurrections in the Western world, just like in the Eastern world. Number three, revivalism and evangelism synergy. Number four, I will release a new spirit of boldness upon the bride to win the lost. And number five, a new apostolic and evangelistic synergy where no longer will lively fish go to sleeping churches. Get rigged. Thank you so much for watching this video. We really do hope that you enjoyed it. Now, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. All you have to do is press that red button down below and make sure you click the notification button so you're notified every single time we post a brand new video. And one more thing, check out the link in the description box below and make sure you download the Rig Nation app. And remember, get rigged.